Hello and welcome to a new series of video about this. This is just an example. Huh? This is an example of what we are talking about. This is an example of what we are talking about. Huh? That's the example of what we are talking about. Huh? Such things. Huh? We are talking about measurement. Okay? So measurement, why measure? Because humans are simply not able to, to estimate something. Okay? This is, you know, we immediately fall into illusions. Immediately. If you have something in a big hall, it looks tiny. If you have the same thumb something in a small room, it looks huge. Yeah, so measurement is their technique to put a number on a thing, yeah, and then we know how much is it. Yeah? For instance, when we bought new furniture for our kids' rooms, yeah, we went to IKEA, yeah? and then in there I piled on, yeah, put this box and this box and this and that and piled on and stacked and stacked and stacked on my car. I was pretty confident we could bring it home. No issue there. We have a big car. And then suddenly my, <coughs> my wife asked, do you think it really fits? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. For sure. For sure. I mean, look at that. This is not that huge. Yeah. Until we get to the car. The car is not as big as the IKEA hall, huh? so I should have measured. Huh? So measuring is the best method of getting rid of such illusions you have. Huh? Humans always tend to put things to a scale. Yeah? Down my hallway yeah? in winter time, when we come inside from the cold. Huh? It is feeling warm. When we go down from the living room to the hallway, it's cold there. Is it cold or is it hot? It has, I don't know, 18 degree. That's a number. Okay? And if you're coming out in from the cold, where it has, I don't know, minus 5, 18 degree feels warm. And if you're coming from 20, 3 degree from the living room down, 18 degree feels cold, chilly. That's how it is. Yeah. So, to prevent us from doing mistakes yeah, or from doing something stupid, yeah, we do measurement. That's the topic of our new series of video, measurement. So, measurement is really to quantify things. Yeah? So, the task, the task is quantify sizes. Quantify, give a number. to parameters simply, yeah? parameters of objects, might be for instance length, weight, uh, pressure, force, flow, temperature. We can measure a lot of things. Brightness, yeah. tension, a lot of things. Yeah. And the task is simply to quantify those things. All right? This, this is the only task to prevent us yeah, 
how do we get there? Yeah, we have basically we have two step approach. Yeah, first first step yeah, is receive. Yeah, so taking. Taking the number, yeah? measuring the number, taking the number, recording the number, taking the number simply, yeah? receiving the number. Yeah? And second step, process the number. These are the two the two steps. Yeah? First we we evaluate, yeah? we fix the number, we take the number so that we know, and then we somehow process the number. Yeah? So measurement is everywhere. We have to, to rely on sizes everywhere. Yeah? Because I mean the the results, yeah? the results shall be uh, reliable. Yeah? Reliable. Is this the correct spelling? Yeah. Reliable. Yeah. Trustworthy. Yeah. Regardless of who is taking it. Yeah. If I measure something, or you measure something, or some third party is measuring something, they should always have the same number. Yeah. So regardless of circumstances. Regardless of who, where, when this thing is measured, we should we want to have a reliable thrust worth a number and it stays the same. If it has here one kilo, yeah, if I go to the marketplace, buy, buy one kilo of some meat, yeah, go home, I should be able to rely on that it still has one kilo. <laughs> I mean, naturally, yeah. Regardless of the circumstances. So this is the task of measurement. The usage, the usage is simply everywhere. Yeah? In all industrial processes, flow processes, piece processes, uh, item processes, and, and, and if we want to check something, test something, yeah? everywhere measurement is involved. Okay? So this is measurement. And this is the topic of our series of video now. Next time, next video, we are going to talk about how such measurement system is built. Yeah? What components are the basic components? Yeah? And what is the task of these components? Will then be in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.